Om Tat Sat. Humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman, to my Guru, Swami Jyotir Menanji Maharaj of Miami, Florida, to all the sages and saints of this world, and to you divine souls watching this satsang. Do you want to increase your power of concentration and be more productive at work and in all your activities? Would you like to control your mind and your senses? Would you like to experience profound meditation and peace? Are you looking to understand more about self-realization and you are trying to get into yoga? If you are trying to do any of these things, if you answered yes to any of these questions, then this exciting satsang series on Raj Yoga is for you. Stay tuned. I will be doing Raj Yoga series every day where I'll be covering one shloka. This is from this wonderful book of my guru, Swami Jyotir Menanji Maharaj. He has written this uh, with his uh, expert commentary on the Raj Yoga Sutras of Patanjali Maharaj. So we will be covering this in a lot of detail and you will find this worth your time. You will see your willpower, concentration improve, you will be more peaceful and all I ask is your sincere devotion to each shloka that I will send to you as a form of this satsanga. So Swamiji says, because of the universal universality of its teachings it's very universal that's why yoga is so popular everywhere but unfortunately the interpretation of yoga in the west is mainly from hatha yoga where people go to yoga centers and they do exercises but th that's kindergarten level of yoga the real yoga is to try to connect to god and to attain samadhi and self-realization those are the goals of yoga asana is only one of the means of keeping your body fit to do those things so raj yoga literally means royal yoga that's what raj means raj means royalty no matter what religion or faith you belong to or what philosophical system you may pursue you need to control your mind and develop the power of concentration isn't it doesn't matter what faith or religion we all want to have a sharp intellect we want to be successful in all the things we do so no one exactly knows when sage patanjali who is the father of yoga every yoga center talks about sage patanjali everyone knows about it but few get into the the depths that i will be uh, sharing with you on a regular basis from now on i hope you will subscribe join and share this wonderful knowledge and most importantly let me know how you're feeling after you're following these um, uh, wonderful advice and nuggets of satsang from these daily uh, satsang videos but uh, patanjali existed at least several several centuries before um, Christ, uh, Christianity came into being and uh, as you know Sanatana means timeless so there is no exact time stamp on Sanatana Dharma it comes from the old ages tradition says that the sutras sutras means formulas and that's what these are called uh, Raj Yoga Sutras uh, threads is what sutras is like your shirt is made up of individual threads so um, the tradition says it originally came from Hiranyagarbha Hiranyagarbha is considered the cosmic mind at the time the creation was coming into existence and then from Hiranyagarbha these uh, revelations came into the mind of sage Patanjali who revealed them so these are revelations that come from sages and saints therefore it's practical universal application for such a long time it's an unparalleled work of ancient psychology and parapsychology 
unlike <coughs> the clinical methods adopted by psychology today the yogis of antiquity discovered the mental laws through their inward experience of concentration meditation and samadhi so instead of looking outside they found a better way they found the microcosm of the macrocosm going within and connecting to that universal energy <coughs> So Raj Yoga psychology beckons the human mind to ascend the glorious heights of super consciousness. So they say we can achieve all that we need to do in this human body since we have tremendous potential. The explanations presented in this book by Poojaniya Swami uh, Jyotir Menanji Maharaj, they are intended for aspirants who do not want to be lost in the maze of intellectual speculations, but who want to evolve spiritually by adopting a practical course of spiritual disciplines. These days there are groups, websites, Facebook, so much online information that your head starts to get stressed just by these things. And we don't need to get into intellectual debates and arguments and all these things are happening and peace is missing. So this book has been written and these shlokas and uh, sutras have been written to guide us on how to experience that within ourselves. See, the best picture of food cannot satisfy your hunger. So we have to eat and that's what yoga teaches us, Raja Yoga. This is a whole field of uh, spirituality in Sanatana Dharma, which is focusing on meditation. And that's what the sages and saints did for a very long time. And that's how they were so successful. This series is going to be a long one. There are a total of 195 shlokas. And so if you're beginning, just enjoy the nectar. If you're a serious aspirant, you will see the great value in this scripture that I am sharing with you. Of the 195 shlokas, there are four separate sections that we will be covering and that's why we want to take our sweet time. I'll try to condense the videos, uh, satsang videos, to about 10 or 15 minutes so we don't, I know everybody's busy and uh, yet this will be your daily satsang to connect with the authentic sages and saints from the ancient Bharat Sanatana Dharma, Sage Patanjali and you, are, you will also get the insights of uh, my divine guru Swamiji who is an enlightened saint so only an expert person who has actually achieved it can show you the way and I'm following that path and I want to take all of you on that journey so let's hop on and get serious about improving our mental uh, willpower mind concentration samadhi all these things so the samadhi path is one uh, is the first one it has 51 um, sutras the second one is sadhana path that has 55 sutras the third one is vibhuti path that has 55 sutras also and the last one is kevalya path or the super conscious state and that has 34 sutras so obviously this is like a, um, a free course for serious aspirants who want to just imbibe into this divine nectar of knowledge and I'm uh, translating this uh, text in simple to understand terms from my over almost 25 years uh, experience with my guru so it's a practical uh, application that I would like to share with you and that is what the goal is of this coming upcoming satsanga so i hope um, you are excited and that you are looking forward to this and we will start with um, sutra number one starting with each coming day and i hope i have you've gotten a good idea about what Raga, raja yoga sutras is about what the father of yoga patanjali maharaj so it has been written by himself and swamiji with through his self-realization experiences has shared his wonderful nectar with each of us so um, get ready i will be sharing this series with each of you and i hope you support it I hope you share it and I hope you enjoy the nectar that this consciousness has been given to each of us for realizing our true potential. Om Tat Sat.